Hey Virgo, let's see what's going on in your love life right now. This is a tarot love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and for any of you dealing with a Virgo romantically. It's a timeless reading today, Virgo. Whenever you click into the video is when you're meant to hear the messages. Please do keep in mind it is a general reading. It may or may not resonate, and you're always welcome to take what works and leave the rest. Now, if you'd like to get a personal tarot reading from me, I do offer those through Etsy. They are a different style than what I do on YouTube. I do not offer video readings through Etsy, but I do offer written readings. If you're interested in checking that out, the link to my Etsy shop is just in the description box below this video. So let's jump in today, Virgo, and let's see what's coming toward you in love right now. First card out, the Knight of Pentacles. You could have an earth sign who you're involved with, maybe another Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. Now here's the thing with the Knight of Pentacles. I love this energy because it represents somebody who is stable, somebody who is secure, somebody who's wanting to build a foundation with you. Now, sometimes the Knight of Pentacles can be just a little bit frustrating because they might be moving a little bit slower than what you're used to, but that can actually be a really good thing, especially for those of you who are used to going into relationships where they're moving so fast, but then maybe they burn out quickly. The Knight of Pentacles slows things down and allows you to really build that foundation. So this might be true of you and the person who you're currently involved with. Or if you're a single Virgo, there could be somebody new coming into your life. Like I said, maybe an earth sign, but they're probably going to move a little bit slower than what you're used to. Tell me more about what's coming toward Virgo and <laughs> the Five of Wands, okay? There's some sort of conflict here. Maybe you're having an argument with your person because you're saying to them, things are moving too slow, I wanna move quicker, right? Or maybe they're saying that to you. I definitely think there could be some sort of fight that's happening about the pacing of the relationship or the next step. Somebody here is definitely feeling frustrated because they want something to happen and maybe it's not happening as quickly as expected. Tell me more please about what's coming toward Virgo and then we've got the judgment card. <laughs> things are getting serious here, okay. The words that are coming to mind are make it or break it. I think some of you, and the energy can always be interchangeable with these readings, so take it how it connects for your situation, Virgo. But I feel like somebody here is really putting on the pressure to a relationship, and it's to the point, whether this is you or your person, that you're going to the other one and saying, look, I want this, this is what I'm looking for, this is what I want, this is the commitment that I'm desiring, and if you cannot give it to me, I'm going to look elsewhere. I am getting strong energy of some sort of ultimatum being made within the relationship where someone is recognizing that they, they want something and they're going to the other person and they're saying, look, I wanna make sure we're compatible. So here's what I want. Do you want the same things? Because if you do not want the same things, then we are not the best match. So yeah, it's a make it or break it moment, I think, for many of you who are involved with this person. And like this could be a newer relationship, this could be a more established relationship, regardless of where you're at, I think you're definitely trying to figure out is there a future here between the two of us. So to get to the bottom of that, what we're gonna do for the rest of the reading Virgo is we're gonna look at your person and we're gonna look at you. We will look at their general energy, what they're feeling and what actions they're taking. I will look at the same thing for you and then we will look at the potential outcome here. So let's try to figure out what's going on here. Why is there this issue with pacing? What do you want? What do they want? Let's get to the bottom of it. Tell me about this person who Virgo is involved with, please. Okay, this is interesting, you guys. So this card indicates that your person is probably going through some pretty big life changes right now. Something is probably ending for them. Something is wrapping up in their life and something big is transforming. So the first thing that came to mind is that your person's got a lot going on right now. Maybe they're going through a career change. Maybe something else is really shifting. Now, because they've got this huge energy of some sort of significant transition happening, maybe, and I'm not making an excuse, but this is why I do the tarot readings so we can understand, maybe the reason they're slowing things down between the two of you just right at this moment is because they've already got a lot of other things going on. So they could be saying to you like, Virgo, I wanna be with you, but there is so much going on right now. Like, I am just trying to manage this other big change that I'm dealing with. I need to be able to manage that first and then we can take the next step. And you might be saying, well, I wanna take that step now. And they're like, there's too much going on. I don't think it's the right time. 
So I think it's important here to acknowledge that it is possible your person's got a lot on their plate right now. That could be why they're slowing things down temporarily. Tell me more about this person. Eight of Pentacles, okay, yeah, that fits with what I was just saying. I do think your person is invested in you and the relationship, okay? I do. I think that they're willing to put in the hard work to make it work, but I think they've got a lot going on. So right now with the Eight of Pentacles, they're having to really reestablish what their priorities are. And it may be that perhaps some of their time and energy has been pulled away from your relationship because they've been dealing with this other big thing in their life. Tell me more about this person, please. Eight of Swords. Yeah, it's definitely causing them stress. They're getting up in their head. They're having doubts. And I think there's insecurity coming through for your person. I think with change, it can be scary. So whatever change they're going through, it's a big step for them. And it looks like they have a little bit of self-doubt. And now I think they're also having doubt about your relationship because maybe you're coming to them. And like I said, you're asking legitimate questions about the next steps in the relationship. And they're letting you know, you know, I do want to be with you, but I need to slow things down. And if you're not responding well to that and you're upset with them, then they're going to feel even more insecure because now they're not sure where the two of you stand and what that means for the future of your relationship. What are they feeling? <laughs> okay. Um, that's a big card to show up in their feelings with the tower energy here. So they are feeling um, a lot. Okay. I don't know how else to say it, Virgo. The tower in their feelings is just like emotionally they're all over the place, right? And that makes sense given the big energy of change and transition that we see for your person. I think there's so much going on for them emotionally right now. And, you know, it's not often I give people, <laughs> I'm like, how do I say this? In the tarot readings, you know, I keep it straight with you guys. And sometimes I see stuff and I'm like, I don't like this, you guys, it doesn't look good. You know, maybe think about whether you want to be in this relationship. But then, you know, a reading like this, part of me is like, I don't know, Virgo, it legitimately looks like they're going through a lot. Maybe give them the benefit of the doubt. Like, I'm definitely getting a message here that, I don't know. I'm not saying to give people the benefit of the doubt all the time. And if you watch my channel, you know I don't say that all the time. I don't. But in this situation, I'm very strongly getting the message. This might be actually one of those situations where you want to give your person the benefit of the doubt. Food for thought. Let's keep going. What else are they feeling? Six of Wands. Okay. Yeah. So here's the thing. They're trying to stay optimistic and hopeful that there will be a good positive outcome here. Tell me more about what they are feeling. And then the seven of wands, okay? I do think though, it's a lot and there will be moments where they shut down and shut you out because of these big feelings. And this is where I'm like, I get why you would be frustrated. Like I look at this and I'm like, I can definitely see why you would be having some issues here potentially. But I feel like what you need to do is you need to separate out what is actually an issue between you and this person and your relationship and what part of it is not about you because i think they're going through something big and they feel emotional about it and you're looking at it and you're like so does that mean they're emotional about our relationship i don't think they are but i think that it's a bit of a chaotic energy and it's making you uncomfortable and obviously it makes them uncomfortable and then when you come in and you I'm not blaming you for this. I totally get this. It's like, and then you come in and you add pressure to the situation and they're like, I can't take all this pressure. I have too much stuff going on right now, Virgo. Like you need to back off. Like I would not be surprised if your person has said this to you, Virgo. Like you guys end up having a conflict here and they're like, you got to give me space. I need you to back off right now. I need you to give me some space. I got so much going on, Virgo. I need you to give me space. And then they end up just like putting up this boundary and maybe even shutting down a little bit. And they're like, there's only so much I can take right now. There's only so much capacity I have right now, Virgo. And I, I need you to cut me some slack. Again, I would also not be surprised if one of your partners said to you, you got to cut me some slack right now and give me some time because I'm just, I got a lot going on, right? Don't let me know if this connects. I feel like I'm definitely tapping into something here. Um, what actions are they taking? Let's see. Nine of wands. Yeah, they're not giving up on you, Virgo, Okay. They're fighting for your relationship and I, I just, I don't even think there's an issue here from their perspective in terms of the relationship, except that you're upset, if that makes sense, right? Like 
they don't like that you're doubting the relationship, but from their perspective, I don't think they've had doubts about the relationship. They've got other stuff they're dealing with. But now on top of that, they're gonna have to be able to give you some level of reassurance that things are okay. And they wanna make you aware, like I'm not giving up on us Virgo at all. This actually doesn't even have anything to do with us. But if you're asking me to take the next big step in our relationship now, right, this specific moment is not the time, but it's not because I don't want to, but you got to give me a little bit of time and a little bit of space here. Okay. What else? Eight of cups, right? Again, your person has got big transitional energy, reassessing their life, figuring out what's important to them, figuring out what they value and making changes in alignment with it. The Eight of Cups to me is like re-examining what's important to us, letting go of the things we no longer want and moving towards what we do. And so with your person, again, there's big change. There's big transition. They're leaving behind things that no longer serve them. They're probably making some big changes in their life personally. And so that is where their focus is right now. And it, it's just hard because I, I feel like I have to keep saying like, I don't think it's about you. I think they do love you. But is there a priority right now, if I'm being honest, taking the next step in your relationship? I don't think it is. But I don't think it's because they don't want to. It's just they've got this other big thing they really need to focus on right now. And they need to get that straight before they can take that next step with you. Okay. Uh, let's get one more for your person, Ace of Wands. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. I think they're looking at this situation and they understand that it's time limited. So they might even be saying to you, Virgo, just please just give me a, like, give me, can we reassess in two weeks? Like even just give me two weeks to kind of just focus on this. And th I think they realize with this Ace of Wands, because this is about like a new beginning, spark, passion, happiness. I think they realize that the situation they're in is not going to go on forever. The problem is that it looks like you're stressing out about it and they're trying to like reassure you, but they're also needing time and space to work on this big change or transition that they're going through, right? So that's where they're coming from. It's very fascinating, kind of different than what I expected. That's why I love the tarot. It's so fascinating. Okay, so let's see what you're, what you're doing. What's going on for you? Let's try to get to the bottom of that. Tell me about Virgo, please. Tell me about Virgo. Ace of Pentacles, okay. Yeah, I mean, I think you feel loyal and devoted to this person. You want to move forward. You want to be building your life together. You want to be building your legacy with this person. The Emperor. There's something here about work, you guys. Um, I think you're very career driven. I wonder if part of the issue here is maybe your person's been going through a big career change and maybe you're putting a little bit of pressure and you're like, look, okay, we're building a life together. We're gonna need to make sure you get a good job. We're gonna need to make sure we're financially stable, which are all important things. Um, but I do think maybe that's a little bit of the pressure as well. And if there is actually some financial pressure that you guys are going through, I understand the stress of that too. So maybe your person, maybe the um, change they're going through, right, is that they're starting their own company. Now, a lot of companies don't necessarily make money right away. So that can put a big financial strain on the relationship. And so maybe you're putting some pressure on them and you're like, but what does this mean financially for us? Which is a fair question. And your person is like, I'm still figuring that out. I need you to give me some time to kind of figure that out. So that's where I think the disconnect is coming from. I do think both of you are building toward a future together, but there's something going on with your person that has created a level of uncertainty that is making both of you uncomfortable. So you're putting a little bit of pressure because you're like, well, I need to be with somebody where we're financially stable. And your person's like, that's what I'm working towards, but I have to figure out the details of what that's going to look like. And so that's where the disconnect is coming from. Let's get one more for your overall energy, please. The magician, okay? Yeah. Honestly, I think <laughs> part of me is like, why are you guys fighting? I know it sounds silly, but I feel both of you are committed to each other. And I think both of you are committed to manifesting a beautiful life together. But I do think there is a challenge right now, like I said, maybe financial or career-wise, and it's feeling like a bit of a setback to you. And because your person hasn't figured it all out and they don't have all the details, you're feeling anxious and you're making, you're wondering, is this going to impact our future in a way that I need to be worried about? Okay. Uh, what are you feeling? Justice. Okay. I feel like you're trying to approach this from a level-headed perspective. I think that will help you if you can embody that justice energy. 
here's my tip for you, Virgo, if you're butting heads with your person, put yourself in their shoes. That's a little tip that I've got for you with the justice energy. Because right now, I almost feel like there's an anxiety coming from you and it's driving your behavior, which again, I understand and completely empathize with. Try to put yourself in your person's shoes and try to understand where they're coming from. I think this might help you. I think both of you should do this, by the way. Both of you should put yourselves in each other's shoes and see it from the other person's perspective because I think that will help each of you to understand where the pressure is coming from and why there's that disconnect. What are you feeling? The lovers, yeah, you love them. <laughs> You love them. That's not the issue here, okay? So you love them. I mean, I don't know what else to say about that. So what else? And then the hermit. Yeah, it's your energy, by the way, Virgo, okay? So I don't know, you guys. You might just have to sit in this discomfort in the short term because as far as I can see, you love this person. And I honestly think the reason that you're putting this pressure on them and you're feeling stressed and maybe even putting pressure on yourself is because you want a future with them. So I think you're very well-intentioned with what you're doing here, Virgo. I really do. I just think that there's a level of uncertainty with your person and emotionally, remember that tower, right? There's a lot going on for them right now. They're emotionally maybe a bit unstable as they're trying to navigate this next step in their life, in their career, whatever. And... I, I just think that it can be a little bit of a pressure cooker. I'm just taking this in, you guys, you know? It's like, I think you need to maybe back off a little bit. Maybe you need to go into that hermit mode a little bit. Maybe do some self-care, focus on yourself, right? And give them a little bit of space because I don't think that, in my opinion, when somebody's going through big changes and they're feeling a lot emotionally and there's a lot going on and they're feeling stressed, you're probably not going to get the best version of them in a conversation, okay? So like, you know this is true, right? If you go to your partner on a day where they're happy, they're relaxed, they're feeling good and you bring something up, you're probably gonna have a pretty good productive conversation. If you go to them with the exact same conversation but you go to them on a day where they are super flippin' stressed, you're gonna get a different outcome to that, right? So I feel like part of this is maybe the two of you need to be wise about when you're deciding to have these bigger conversations about the future. Because if you're doing it in moments of stress, I think it's gonna escalate things in a way that makes things much worse, even though at the end of the day, I actually feel the two of you are quite committed to each other. So maybe it's like, don't fight in the moments when somebody is extremely stressed. Maybe that's the moment where you take a little bit of a breather and you come back with calmer heads. What is that saying? Calmer heads prevail. I believe that's a saying, right? Let calmer heads prevail, right? What actions are you taking? Seven of Pentacles, that's good. Okay, that's good, you guys. Seven of Pentacles is about being patient. So I feel like there's gonna be a realization here that you can't push something through. Maybe this is not the time for whatever conversation you wanna have. I'm not saying don't ever have the conversation. I'm saying at this specific moment in time when the stress is heightened, maybe you put those important conversations a little bit to the side until things have calmed down. And then your patience will pay off and then you have the conversation. I think it's just about being strategic about when you have these conversations. Honestly, Virgo, as I'm getting into this reading, what is this? Two of Pentacles, yeah. Things are kind of off balance right now, so you guys gotta just wait until things come back into balance. You gotta find that equilibrium, right? Don't be making big decisions and putting pressure on yourselves in an already chaotic situation. What else? Two of Wands, yeah, there we go, right? You wanna plan and prepare for the future. It's a good thing, by the way, not a bad thing. So. You can start to think about that, but I feel like the time to have those conversations is when things come into more of a balance. And that's where you being patient with the seven of pentacles is gonna be necessary, okay? That's, that's the advice, that's the food for thought from the tarot. Because I actually, honestly, my gut sense here is that you guys are actually a great partnership, <laughs> but like there's stress and the stress could mess this up for you. So don't let the stress F up your relationship here. But in order to do that, you are both gonna have to be strategic about when you have these conversations. You're gonna need to be strategic about giving each other time and space when it's emotionally heightened and not push important conversations when it's not a good time to be having that conversation. I feel like I'm giving you like a PSA, <laughs> you know? I'm like, you need to do this. Um, do what you want. You know, I'm not here to tell you what to do, but 
I think I'm just getting into this reading and I'm like, I, I think you guys really love each other and I actually think you want the same things. But I think stress is maybe causing the two of you to butt heads and not bringing out the best in you. So the real question becomes, how do you manage that stress? And again, realizing when somebody is super stressed, I just really don't think that's the time to have a big life-changing conversation because you're not gonna get somebody's best version. I mean, have you ever had this where somebody comes to you when you're stressed and you like totally just snap at them and you're nasty and then they leave and you're like, oh my gosh, like, and you feel awful. And then you go and you apologize and you're like, look, it doesn't explain my behavior. I am so sorry, but I was so stressed. You caught me in a really bad moment. And then in the future, you learn, don't have those kind of conversations when you're feeling that way because it's not gonna be good, right? Moment of truth, what is the potential outcome here? What is the potential outcome in this situation? Good, good, look at that, king of swords. Clarity, communication, <laughs> okay? I'm chuckling, you guys, I'm sorry. I think you're gonna be fine. I think you just gotta figure out how to manage this stress. Because the King of Swords is a beautiful energy of clarity, communication, understanding each other, understanding the situation, talking through issues. You guys are going to get there. I, just be mindful. Be mindful of the fact that there could be stressors going on with your person. It's making them feel emotionally volatile. And if you go at them trying to have a life-changing conversation about your relationship when they're in that level of stress, as much as they love you, it's probably not going to be productive. So manage that situation. And the outcome here suggests that you will get clarity. You will move forward. If it feels a little bit uncertain right now, if it feels like things are moving slow, I think they are because I think there's some stress here and I do think it is slowing things down. But I don't think it's a situation where it's like your person is slowing things down because they don't want to be with you. And that's the distinction, Virgo, because I do a lot of readings for you and sometimes people are slowing things down because they don't want to be with you. And then we talk about it. This is not one of those situations. I think both of you want to be with each other, but you got to manage the stress of the situation. And if you do that with a clear head and you guys communicate effectively, you're going to get through it. It'll be like a momentary discomfort. And then once you get through it, that's where you get back to the business of planning the next step for your relationship. You guys have to let me know if this connects with you, okay? And I hope this all works out for you because I just feel there's a good thing going on with you guys. So don't let the stress, you know, blow it out of proportion, right? <laughs> Okay. All the best, Virgo. If you enjoyed this reading, you know what to do. Give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And of course, I wish you so much love and happiness and we'll talk soon. Bye guys.